In this video, I am going to show you how to use the live event plugin and how to install it. Now guys, to install it, it's pretty simple. What you can do is click on add new up here and then click upload plugin and then go ahead, choose file and choose the zip file that's in the folder. After you choose that file, go ahead, click install and activate the plugin so you can see it right here, just like this. Once you have done this, you'll see the live event plugin right here on the side and you can go ahead and go to events and create a new event just like this. As you can see, there's an event in here. And to create it, all you would do is write the name and the description and click add event. Now you can go ahead and select like a, a timeline section in the event if you'd like to. So go ahead and do that from just picking which event you want, giving it a name, description, and etc. The next thing is timeline items. Now, this is where you will select, you know, uh, what type of item you want to add on to your timeline. If it's an image, if it's a tweet, you can bring from Twitter, or if it's an HTML. As you can see, I've added a few up here. Now, the next thing is timeline icons, which if you would like to have an icon on there, Now the next thing is stat section. So here, this is where you can add a stat section if you would like people to see stats on there. There's also stats group and stat item, which works just like the timeline section. Next one is the comment section, and this is for other people to write comments in your area. So, uh, you know, you can have it enabled, disabled, however you would like. And again, you get back down to comment items which is the same thing as timeline items, whatever you want to add. Now the last thing is options on here. And on this, you know, you can change the text, the color, uh, you know, how you want the timeline to look exactly, how you want the comment section to look, um, you know, how you want the stats section to look. Uh, you can go all the way to, you know, the social sharing and those type of stuff. And then the last thing is some advanced features that you might want to add on to your, um, you know, on your timeline and live events. So guys, once you have added an event, you can go ahead and start sharing that with, uh, you know, anyone. Here's a short code right here. So you would just copy the short code and you would go into your post or page or anything like that and go ahead add a new post and then you know you can call this timeline and go ahead paste the short code in there and give it a second and publish it and then go ahead uh, click view post and you'll be able to view your timeline right here. It's taking a while to load. It's taking a really long time to load. Well, guys, that's pretty much it on how to get this live event to work. Uh, since I'm screen recording my computer, it typically tends to run slow. And as you can see, it's still loading. Uh, but yours won't take this long. Uh, and this is very simple, very easy, very cool way to have um, on your website so you can post you know, live events, what's going on, and people can follow it. After waiting a little while, it did load. As you can see, uh, the timeline, these are the two events that I added in there. Uh, you know, something like, we're going live, we're about to go live, please pay, pay attention, and then just a tweet. And, you know, I can keep adding as I go and it will add in real time. 